Right everyone, we're back to here. I've got myself a Ganzo G301 to review. I've had a small uh, Ganzo multi-tool before, but never a full-size one. And uh, quite looking forward to this, it looks really good. So there's the pouch you get, which seems like a proper decent, nice quality pouch. Got a couple of straps so you can do it either way, vertically or horizontally, you know, on your belt. Ganto logo. So yeah, that is the main pouch. And then inside there you get the Ganzo G301 and the screwdriver bits for it as well. I'll just show you those quickly. I'll show you them properly at the end, but you don't really need to see those because you know screwdriver bits, screwdriver bits. Uh, well I will show you those again later. Um, we'll go over them. So there's the pouch. Got a bit at the back to put the screwdriver bits and the, the actual tool at the front. Right, so it is. Ganzo 301. There it is in my hand. So you can see it's quite a big one. It's a full size multi tool. It's got quite a few features, obviously, and all the blades lock on this. The four, the four sort of, um, well, three, one, two, three there. The ones with um, thumb studs can be opened one handed. And there's the lock there, and it's a sort of axis lock. You pull it down with your thumb and your finger. So there's one, two, and then the main blade is here, I think, yeah. Yeah, like I said, they all lock. So there's your main blade. Let's shut that up, go to the next one. Then you've got a bottle opener and wire stripper. And just there is a little lanyard hole thing. Next is a small screwdriver. And then next on this side is the scissors. Good scissors these are. See the spring there. So you could use them like that if you wanted to. Or like this. But they're very comfortable. You'd be surprised how comfortable scissors are like this. You know, <clears throat> well, it's a good little sort of system really because you just hold it with your hand and then use your finger and then to shut that you shut it it's slightly different to ones I've seen you put the screwdriver into like a blade type shape you know just quick straight and then shut it again so that's that side <clears throat> now go on to this side you've got a locking saw which tapers back at the back edge fatter at the front which means it'll cut better won't jam in that looks like a decent saw to me very sharp and again locks and has a thumb stud so to shut that just pull those down here you've got a awl with a hole for there's quite a few things you can use those for but um, one of it is sort of sewing so leather the next feature is the this is the bit for the screwdriver tips and then lastly on this side is the sort of serrated blade the body of this is some kind of steel they I think it's sometimes going to write weird stuff you know it's literally just described as high carbon steel material <laughs> so yeah make that what you want but it does look very good quality feels really good quality all the blades <coughs> feel like firm and good. Torx head screw construction. And now we'll get to the actual pliers. So these are sort of spring loaded. You can see the spring here. They lock out sort of nicely when you've got them into the pliers. So here's the main pliers there. So you've got needle tip pliers, you know, 
there's your main gripping bit your wire cutter got a bit of oil coming out of my joint bit there Yeah, I've got a decent bit of grip on there. Yeah, very good. Very nice. Yeah, spring loaded, like I said. And then to shut these, you just bend the handles back down again. And it will lock shut, you know. On the outside of the handles here, you've got some... Not That's metal there, but this is plastic here. Gives them a nice bit of grip. You see like there, nice bit of grip, yeah, good leverage on these. Yeah, and then lastly I'll show you the screwdriver function. So you just open that, it locks out like I said before, you take this, this thing here, put that on, it is magnetic. And then you just take any bit you want, place that in, and there you've now got a decent screwdriver. Not sure if it does a sort of mid lock, no, but um, you know, you don't really need that. But yeah, that's a very good screwdriver. It's your standard sort of size, so if you've got other specialist bits you want to carry, you can carry those, and you've just got the sort of standard. You've got the Phillips, the flats, and the standard sort of what I call Allen key bits. So yeah, how many bits do you get? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then plus the actual connector. But yeah, I think that's very good. Um, overall, very nice. I think you can see the lock system there inside yeah overall a very nice multi-tool well worth getting it's 10 centimeters long 1.5 centimeters thick five centimeters wide at the bottom 3.6 at the top 16 centimeters when it's open and is 300 grams which i don't think that's overly heavy for a, for the amount of features it's got you know and size of it overall quality seems really good it's a good full size multi-tool yeah i think well worth getting and the price is 27 pound 23p you know and you get that and that with it, you know. Pouch is really good, you know, surely that cost you a thought you shouldn't buy something like that. You know. So yeah, I would recommend it personally. Very nice. The Ganzo G301. We do a couple of others as well. If you do like this and you want to buy it, there'll be links below in the more info section. And if you use those links you might be able to get a discount. There should be a coupon code for 10% off as well. And if you do use those links, you can support my channel. Because every time you buy through those links, I'll get a small percentage of what you spend. So that way you can support me without having to do anything. You know. Right? Yeah, so that's it. That's the Ganzo G301 multi-tool. I would recommend it. I'm going to use this a lot. I'll probably start taking it down to the woods with me when I start going down there. So, yeah. Alright, I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope you found this helpful, and I hope you saw something you like. See you later.